Yo, right. what's up guys, it's Edge, and today I'm making a little tutorial with my buddy Clay. Relative, what's up guys? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and it's going to be on how to do a little bouncing circle in After Effects and make it look pretty real. So, that's what we're going to be making. And let me just show you all this stuff. So this is just the background, that's just a little floor. Uh, these are the separate layers for the circle. And these these shapes here are the little uh, like little explodes you see. I pretty much it's pretty simple. I just I just uh, what I do I just keyframe the radius and opacity, and then I pre-comped it and put it as a three layer so it made it look like it was on the ground or something. Edge, I have a question. What's up? Whenever you make your shapes, why do you pre-comp them? Well. If I try to put this as a 3D layer, um, and I go to transform, it doesn't work. Oh, so okay. That's why. You have to pre comp a shape layer if you want to put it in 3D. Other than that, I don't. Like the transform doesn't work. Like position, it doesn't work. Okay. Like all that. So you have to pre comp it if you want to do that. Alright, so. For all this stuff, these are all the keyframes I had. Okay, so, so it kind of seems confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. It's just uh, it's just using the ease in and ease out feature and stuff. So I will try to recreate that real quick. All right. So, just, uh, what am I doing? How do I delete this? Okay. Okay. I uh, just do layer, new, shape layer, effect, circle, and just make it whatever color you want. It's a nice color. Make it blue! Make it blue? Okay. Do like this. It's a cool blue. And drop shadow. Always makes it look cool. Gives it a little shadow. Okay, and then I'm going to skip ahead 10 frames. I think that's like command, shift, and then like the right arrow key. You skip 10 frames at a time. So that's good when you're editing. So you can go like, maybe I want this half a second later. You just do three clicks. All right, so open this up. And I will have it start up here. Then I'll have the center. I'll maybe have. If you uh, if you press the period key, and it, it has to be like on the number pad side. So if you're on a laptop, you can't do this. But if you press the period key, you could hear the audio. But it's also like a real time too. So um, I would have a start here, and then I could just like think. I would want it maybe bouncing here, hitting the ground here. And then uh, maybe like falls down, hits the ground. God, you're sexy. Hey, we we're keeping this commentary clean. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I just did uh, ease out too. So this is pretty much just since a ball, if you drop it, it eases out first, and then it'll go faster. And then I'm going to make one more, like right here, I'll bring it to here or something. And I want this one to ease in, so I'm going to have this ease it in. So right now, see what it looks like. Okay, looks all right. So it goes like that. Maybe a bit faster. Okay, so does that. And then we need to split this layer. And on this one, we are going to delete all these keyframes. 
and that is so we can have this ease out because we want we want it to like come up ease into this keyframe right here like stall a second and then ease out so maybe like right here and have it just copy that frame wait so yeah so it's gonna look like like that so it actually looks like a real ball bouncing because it eases out dropping down and then it eases into that because of gravity and stuff and then it starts to ease back out because of gravity and stuff yep but there's no gravity function in After Effects as far as I know probably is I don't know what I'm doing okay so I guess that's pretty much it I mean then you just you just keep doing the same thing you just uh, right here you just make another keyframe and uh, bring it to here have this ease in split it then have this one ease out and put it over here or something and then bring it back down so yeah and actually to make it look even better you want to pre-comp this entire thing and so where does this end? right here is it? yeah okay and then you want to enable time remapping put a keyframe right there where it ends and then do ease in so it'll even make it look better make it more look more realistic there we go and just like I said just add the little exploding thingies where is it? I think I deleted the full or the first comp yeah Luke, I did. show them your sloth huh? show them your sloth I don't have my sloth as background anymore oh my god oh, look at that sexy background yeah, that that's one's cool. sexy there. I made that the other day. All right, well, any questions, Clay? You think people will ask? Um, how do you edit? How do I edit? Just, just that. Yeah. I use After Effects. That's cool. That, yeah, that's all I needed to know. Now I'm an editor. Sweet. Thanks. Okay, and I guess you can uh. Add some motion blur. I'll make it look cool. Uh, probably take forever to render. <coughs> Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that looks really bad. No, it'll look good when it goes fast. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Come on, load. <laughs> yeah, see? So that looks like it's a real bouncing ball. Sweet. It kind of just looks like a blue ball in After Effects that you edited. I know, right? It's weird. <laughs> no, it looks good. I like it. Okay. Bye!